So I was working outside. The reason my face is a little bit red. So it's one of the things that happens. But as I was working, this box arrived. It has eBay written on it, but there's a little bit more that goes with this than just the eBay sticker. So let's talk about this here on VA3 FUC. Hi, everybody. So, what's in the box, you're probably asking. Well, it's a long story. Someone asked me about the Baofeng uh, CM6 and my thoughts of it. Well, CH6, I should say. The Baofeng CH6 is a new radio that Baofeng has released in the, for DMR connections. Now, I just happened to receive one. So we're going to go look at the uh, radio itself. I'm going to explain a little bit of how I got this radio and, and everything else. So let's get down to the down view so you guys can watch me unbox this and show you what's in the box. Okay, time to talk about what's going on here. So I reached out to a company uh, called Balfang Radio CA, and I asked them a little bit about the CH6. Uh, one of my others was asking me how is the radio. I was like, I've read the reviews, but I'm not sure because I have not owned the radio nor have I had a chance to play with it. So I reached out to Balafang and I asked them a few questions about the radio. So after a few questions, they offered to send it to me free for testing. I said to them, well, I am a YouTuber. Do you mind if I talk about the radio then? And they said, not a problem. Here's uh, just send us your information. We'll get one out to you. So I have it here. So let's have a look and see what's in the what comes in the box. First of all, very well packaged. The air box pockets out of the way. I will pull out this. Ah. There's also something else in the box, so we'll pull that out also. First of all, it's a it's an antenna for it. Now, I was under the impression it doesn't come with an antenna, but apparently this one is. So that's kind of cool. Well, it's probably the, from a, what I can tell from the website, and because the website has this listed on the website, is this is one of the accessories for it. This is the YDC Tech uh, YTL71. It's a 15.6 inch whip antenna, SMA female dual band uh, for the 14.4 and the 430 for the Baofeng radio. Not bad. Okay. So we got a nice long whip antenna. Probably a quarter length, probably. Don't quote me on that. I, But I think that's what it is, is a quarter length antenna for the two meter and 70 centimeter band. Inside the box itself, it's pretty plain for this. We have the bow. It's like branded Balfang Canada uh, CH uh, CH6 DMR digital mobile digital time slot dual time slot. I should say digital mobile radio digital analog compatibility dual time slot dual band AMBE plus two voice coder SMS functions. Digital system function C T C S S C D C S S. Digital mode support in the use of repeaters and digital alarm function. It's on this part of the box. When you look around, it just shows digital mobile radio, just some information on top. Um, high capacity ion battery, long stand time, long distance. Sound quality clear. Here is just a bunch of uh, forms of radio with just a whole bunch of tags. So good on them. Same thing on this side. And on the back, it says digital mobile radio, Fujin Baofeng Electronics Inc. Uh, selling China, blah, 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 blah. Made in China, of course. This is FCC and IC approved. So 
the FCC has approved this, that the radios are now locked, from what I've been told, from all Bao, from Baofeng. So even if we order from China, it's still locked. So looking at the front, we get the radio itself. And there goes the whipping dinner. So in the first compartment, we have the radio itself. Trying to see the radio is really nice. <coughs> we got a little bit of waterproofing here. I can see there's a, and feeling it, there's a rubber gasket right here. It says uh, five watts. It says uh, model number is DM1706. So that is what the firmware is based on. Now, if I remember, 1701 is based off the AnyTone software. So this could be an AnyTone type software inside of this. I'm not 100% sure. I'll find that out as I go for more testing. We also get the battery. This battery is only uh, 2200 watts, 7.4 volts. So, an okay battery. One thing I have to admit I'm not happy with is the belt clip is actually on the actual battery, not on the radio. Because if you look here, you can see the screws are there, but there's no screws on top. So that right there, nitpick, granted. But something to keep in mind. And that's just one insert. Next, we get in, there's a hand strap. I'll pull that out. Bell clip. The antenna, which I probably won't use because I got the bigger antenna. Why would I want to use this one? This one comes with the programming cable. It's your basic uh, two-prong Kenwood slash Baofeng Chinese plug. And all the Chinese radios use it. And we're going to look at the radio in a second. We got your basic everyday kit for listening, to, for using hands free communication. Does anybody actually use this? Honestly, for use, for using the radio? I'd like to know. And then we got the charger and desk charger with charging cable. And then we have the book, which is actually has the Canadian maple leaf in front of it. This looks like it was rebranded just for sale for Canada. The Rio has a lot of neat, nice little options in it. I haven't been able to go through the book, but from what I can tell and from what I've heard, the book is actually fairly good English. Enough that you can get through a radio. I do like the box, though. The box is nice looking. I'll give them that for sure. But if I were testing the radio yet, I'm not even sure. So let's get this radio working. We'll see what it, what it does. Put the box off to the side. So the battery has to hinge in the bottom. There's these two holes here with the battery has two little tabs here. So looking at it, it's just basic Phillips for your uh, to get the get a handle. For now, we're going to try this antenna. Try this whip antenna they provided. Here's something I don't understand. Why do they still have a flashlight? Someone please tell me why why the flashlight? It's like the antenna got a little bent. Probably over time that will get strained out. Oh come on. Tell me the antenna.
trying to get the antenna on here. There we go. So yeah, you got this nice floppy spring loaded antenna. Okay. Okay. So looking at the screen, just as analog right now, it's a little bright. You know what? We're gonna go from the overhead and we'll look look at this radio a little bit more closely. <laughs> So now that I brought it down, I cannot control anything on the screen, unfortunately. I can't see. The problem is with this type of screen, it's too bright. So I went in the menu. I went to see if there was a way to turn down the brightness. There doesn't seem to be one at this present time. Which means I'm going to have to get a separate camera in here when I'm doing this video and talking about when we have a look at the radio itself. I'm going to do a full look at the radio in a separate video. We are also going to go and look at uh, putting a code plug in this radio so you guys can see how easy it is to program or how hard it is, depending on what we run into. And I'm going to do a little bit more research on this radio itself because there's a lot of stuff about this radio I want to learn before I start getting anything set up in it. But if you like the content that I'm bringing, remember, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. You'll get notified when I bring out a new video, like programming this radio. Also, you get access to, you know, whenever I would do a live show. Bonus, if that's what you like, you like watching live stuff. I'm also going to be doing a video on programming this and my review afterwards. That's coming. If you like the video, please hit the like button and comment down below. I do read comments. I like to know what you guys are thinking about this radio. Also, a link to balfangradio.ca will be in the description down below. This radio right now is selling for 149 Canadian. So if you like this radio, it's a good time to pick it up now before you know it's no longer available. Well, till next time, everybody. 73. And I'll see you in the next episode.